I'm Amandine Lortumbunwazi. I'm working for ZSL Cameroon. I run the Jab Yusufa Reserve and uh, also around the Lake Osa. I'm working with the social team. So we are working with population living around the Jab Yusufa Reserve especially. I think it's important for community to have a voice because uh, sometimes we don't really know what what is the great problem? Which, what, what is the reality of this community that they live? So it is really important to give them the voice to say these are our problems, our really problems. Because you can't just come and uh, say to a community, stop pushing without knowing why they are pushing, how they push, they are, they are making it. And it is important to give them the voice to hurt, help, to hurt uh, them first help their, their problems and to see how we can go together to take illegal wildlife trades. It is important to share these stories because uh, while hearing a stories of somebody uh, uh, and not uh, some other communities, you can get a new approach to take illegal wildlife trade on your field. Uh, as now we are we are sharing we are sharing many things. I have heard today, for example, many stories on uh, for another for other countries that will help me to turn back in my country Cameroon and manage my my my, my work and see how I can do better to 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 work with population and take illegal wildlife trade. So I think it is a very important thing to share these experiences and get something new something new to, to, work, to work better. I think, first of all, population, local population, they, 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 they like animals. Something, sometimes we think that they, they are just uh, bad people. They like animals first. And uh, from my experience, I know that they like animals, but because of poverty, they, they are forced to to, to kill them, not, not, and, and generally, local population are not the one who kill big quantities of animals. They are generally strangers. We came from another, another city, sometimes another country, and give money to local population to accompany them to the forest and kill big quantities of animals. And my small story is one day I go to a village and the chief of the village tell us Please, can you help us to protect our animals? Because in my, uh, when I was young, my parents just have to turn uh, around the, the kitchen and take uh, animals and give us to eat. But now we have to go far in the forest too. So they know that it is important to protect animals, but because of poverty, they don't really have choice. They, 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 they work with uh, big hunters, big pushers to destroy their forest. So we have to introduce small programs uh, to, like income generating activities, like uh, developing of um, tourism to help them getting uh, money to other parts than pushing activities. And also to give them more empowerment to protect their forests through uh, pro radio programs, through uh, get, giving them phone to call when they, they are stranger in the, in the forest because they know that it's important to protect, but they, they, they need to have more empowerment to protect it and more um, uh, facility to do it.